Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bowl here. Or you could use it to put whatever you want into. And you can also make it as big, tall, or as short as you want, or as small, or as wide as you want. This one's about 8 inches across, but you can always adjust the base just by leaving less rows or increasing more if you'd like. So, and it's made out of the t-shirt yarn, so that's why it's standing up all by itself. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Fettuccine yarn, which is a t-shirt yarn. Um, it comes in all different colors and all different patterns. You really never know if you buy it off online at lionbrand.com, you really never know what they're going to send you. So um, you may not get the same colors that I do because every bag will be unique. But I'm using two different colors of their solid. Now you can make your own t-shirt yarn too. You don't have to buy this. But this is what I'm using. And there's 55 yards in um, each one of these uh, skeins. And then I'm going to be using a size N, which is a 9 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with a slip knot on your hook. If you've never worked with t-shirt yarn, it's just you work with it the same as you would any other yarn. I'm going to go ahead and start with a chain of three. Now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So I'm starting on the bottom first, the base. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and I'm going to work six single crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six now you're going to need some type of a stitch marker i'm going to use just a piece of yarn here so you want to count back six stitches one two three four five six so go ahead and put your stitch marker there and that way you know where you end and where you begin so we're going to go ahead and jump over here to the first single crochet we made not this chain one that's right here but the single crochet and we want to do two single crochets in to that same stitch. So there's one and two. Now we're going to put two single crochets in every stitch until we get back around to our stitch marker. So two singles into the next. And then in the next. like that when you make it back to your stitch marker you should have let's see 12 or yeah 12 single crochets you want to go ahead and move your stitch marker up that would end round two now round three we're going to do the same thing again we're going to jump to our first stitch and we're going to put two single crochets in it And then we're going to work around putting two single crochets in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. You might find t-shirt yarn is a little, it's not really difficult to work with, but it can be hard on your hands after a little bit. But you can make some really cool things with it. So 
So I'm going to continue putting two single crochets in every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back to my stitch marker. At the end of round three, you should have 24 stitches now. Now what I'm going to do is move my marker up and I'm going to go around again. This time I'm going to put start out by putting one single crochet into the very first stitch. And now the next stitch I'm going to put two single crochets into the same stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the next. And that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around for round four. One single into the next and then two singles into the next. One single and then two singles. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker. Your last stitch should have had two single crochets in it. And now at the end of round four, you should have a total of 36 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker up. Now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna put one single crochet into the first two stitches. And then I'm gonna put two single crochets into the next. One single into the next two. And two singles into the next. And that's a repeat now for round five. One single into the next two. And then two singles into the next. So one single, one single, two, one single, one single, two all the way back around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around and you should have ended in two single crochets again and you should have uh, 48 stitches now to end of round six. Uh, I'm sorry, the end of round five. Yeah, end of round five, I get kind of messed up there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and change colors because this is as big as I want my base to be. Now if you want your base to be bigger you just keep um, increasing in the same manner that we have been. So it would be one single crochet in the next three and then two double crochets in the next all the way around. And the next round would be one single crochet in the next four and then two single crochets and you can just do that all the way around until you get your base as big as you want it. But I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch like that and I'm going to slip stitch one more time like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn off here like that and now I'm going to start, I can take that stitch marker out, a new color. You can keep going with the same color if you want. You can start it anywhere that you want. I'll probably start um, somewhere on this side. So when the time comes, I can crochet this tail in. So just start any stitch. And chain one. Now go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now all I'm going to do is work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And after a few rows of single crochet, you'll see the side will start to come up. So like that. So I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to my to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around. At the end of round six, you should have 48 stitches still. So I'm going to get my stitch marker again, and I'm going to put it right here. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do two more rows of just one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to jump to my first single crochet. 
not the chain one we did, but the first single crochet and single crochet into it. And I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch. This is round seven that we're on. And then when I make it back around, I'll have 48 stitches still. And then I'll move my stitch marker up. And for round eight, I will do the same thing. One single crochet in every stitch. So round seven and eight now is just one single crochet in every stitch. 48 stitches at the end of every round. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of round eight. Okay, I've made it to the end of round eight. And I'm just going to change colors again by slip stitching. Here's my... I should have 48 stitches. Slip stitching into the next stitch. And the next one after that. And tying that yarn off. Now, if you want to make this all one solid color, you can do that too. I'm going to go ahead and move my marker because you don't need that anymore. It's alright if it looks a little lopsided. But after you do more rows, it will start to stand up like it's supposed to. So, But I'm just going to go back to my pink and I'm going to continue working rows of or rounds of single crochet so oh, we want to start on the outside here so I'm just going to start my yarn in any stitch make sure you're starting where this is the right side of my work make sure you're starting on the outside of it so your stitches are matching up I'm going to go ahead and chain one I'm going to go right back into the same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm just going to work continual rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, just like we did before. Only I'm just, I just switched colors, so it's the same thing that we're doing. And I'm trying to crochet these tails in as I go. That way I don't have to try to hide them later. So this is round nine that we're on. So I'm going to go ahead and one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around. And again, I'm just going to use a stitch marker. Set it right here. And I'm just going to work rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So I should have 48 stitches still. Just go ahead, I put my stitch marker there, go ahead and single crochet into your first single crochet here, and continue working around. This is on round 10 we're on now. So you just want to keep doing rounds of one single crochet in every stitch until you get this as tall as you want it to be. You should always have 48 stitches at the end of every round. And like I said, the more rows you do, the more it'll start to stand up a little bit better. It's starting to stand up a little bit better. But. So that's it. Just keep doing rounds of one single crochet in every stitch until you get your piece as tall as you want it to be. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of 19 rounds, and that's starting from round one. And on the 18th, I switched back to my black and then... Did another the 19th was back to pink but you do yours however you want stripe it or whatever you want to do but once you get back to your stitch marker all you want to do is go ahead and slip stitch here i made it back to my stitch marker what you want to do is go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and then you can clip your yarn and tie it off remember you can make yours as tall as you want you don't have to or as short as you want. You don't have to do it just like me. Take your stitch marker out. Now what I do to hide these t-shirt yarn tails is I kind of just weave them in the top row. Because it's kind of hard to sew them in. But I just go back and forth a little bit. A few times. And that's it. Then you got a basket that you can do whatever you want to do with. Put candy in it or potpourri in it. Uh, whatever. Yarn. Needles, hooks, whatever. Whatever your heart desires, but that's it. Let me clip that off and then straighten it up a bit. And voila, she's done. 
that's it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial pretty easy that's the good thing about t-shirt yarn it stands up on its own so i uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that way you never miss any of my tutorials um don't forget to check out all my other ones too i have hundreds of them so until next time have a good day